This is an introductory training video for the Izano ultrasound system. In this video, you'll be able to identify your inner scalene brachial plexus. Turn on the system. So exam preparation. First, press the bucket labeled procedure. Then choose regional anesthesia, then inner scaling. Notice on the cue card, it shows the needle, where the needle is inserted, and the anatomy that's affected by the anesthetic. So let's start the exam. The first step is positioning. This shows the patient positioning for this procedure. So first, the probe is placed on the trachea of the patient, and you can do this on yourself as well. This is your first anatomical reference. Now put the probe on your trachea and compare your real-time ultrasound image to the one on the top right corner. These should look fairly similar. Although there are some anatomical variations, you should be able to see some similarities. Next it shows navigation. This shows where you should tilt the probe. So navigation will show you where you should slide the probe on the patient's anatomy and how to tilt it in order to find the right angle so we can identify our target. You can also follow the ultrasound video at the top right of the screen and compare it with your real-time ultrasound image of yourself. This will enable you to verify if you're doing it correctly. Next is target. First notice the cross-section image. Notice that there's muscle on both sides of the brachial plexus. And notice how that looks on an ultrasound image. This image is sometimes known as a honeycomb or small grapes. Next is needling. The suggested needling techniques on the cue cards are based from doctors that recommend certain needling techniques for the different procedures. So note, your doctor might prefer a different needling technique. These are just suggestions. So for interscaling, it's suggested as an in-plane technique. In the first box, you can see where the needle should be inserted. In the video, you can see the needle on the ultrasound image. 
and notice the spread of the medication and how it affects the tissue on the ultrasound image. Lastly are tips and tricks, or otherwise known as protocols. Here the hospital can customize uh, to have their standardized protocol in this area. They can put certain volume medication for this preferred procedure, needle preference, needling technique preference, just to name a few examples.